oh, hey, I didn't see you there because you didn't hit that like button. <clears throat> now, I am Tim, COO and co-founder of Curlmix, and welcome to Curlmix Chemistry, where we show you the science behind all of your favorite cosmetic products. Now, today, I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own flaxseed gel at home. And don't worry about all this science stuff. Trust me, you only need a few simple ingredients and some stuff you have at home. So let's just jump into it. First, you need one fourth cup of whole brown flax seeds. You can get these at your local grocery store, super cheap. Next, you need a small to medium sized pot and something to stir with. Next, you need two cups or 400 milliliters of water, preferably distilled water. Next, you need a wire mesh strainer. One that's big enough to hold all of your flax seeds, but that the holes are small enough not to let any flax seeds through. And last but not least, you need fire. Oh, and heart. You can't forget heart. And seriously, lose your grandma's pantyhose. We don't need those. We make thousands of batches of flaxseed gel and the strainer is way easier. You don't have to get your hands dirty and you don't have to burn yourself. Have you hit that subscribe button yet? Now, make sure you get boiling hot water. Not a rolling boil, you want a lot of movement, which will help you extract more gel from the seeds. Then you add in your 1 4th cup of flax seeds. Stir it gently to make sure all those seeds get hydrated and that it doesn't boil over. If you need to turn down the temperature, keep yourself safe. Keep it boiling for five minutes and that's all you need. You can place your stir over top to prevent boil over. You'll quickly start to see that gel forming and getting nice and thick. Once that five minutes is up, turn off the fire and let it sit. Once those seeds start to settle, that's how you know it's ready to strain. If you don't let the seeds settle, it'll be more difficult to strain the gel at the end. If you look closely, you can see the casts start to form in the pot. That's the same way it works on your hair. You have to move quickly. Set up your strainer and your heat safe container beforehand and then strain the gel. See all that gooey goodness? Once those seeds are finished draining, you're left with that gooey gold flaxseed gel. Since we're all in this together, let us know why you came looking for this video in the first place. If you've tried to make flaxseed gel at home before and it didn't work out, let us know too. We'll see if we can help you out.